people so welcome back to another video um, this one is going to be a review video as you can probably see from the title who I'm reviewing um, basically checking out their portfolio looking at um, what they're trying to achieve with the portfolio what angle they're going uh, at and how they've been affected by this event um, person I've chosen no secrets infinite uh, investor um, I think he's a pretty cool guy um, and I like his videos, they're, they're pretty well done. Lots of information in them, L way more information than what I'll put in on a stock uh, at the moment on, on videos, um, and I think he's doing really well. So I've chosen him because uh, of the free trade portfolios I've looked at quite a lot uh, in the last week, and um, quite interested to see that everyone's actually, and I haven't watched a lot of other people's videos in, in some time, everyone's portfolios are actually um, down and uh, mine's obviously considerably up uh, and obviously people have got different amounts in their portfolios but like just looking on a percentage sort of basis um, I think I'm right in saying I'm, I'm one of the highest ones on there not not being big-headed but um, it's just interesting to see because a lot of people are obviously um, more focused on dividends and where I differ, I'm, I'm more focused on growth and solid companies. I'd, I'd say my investing is more Warren Buffett style um, slash insecure companies slash with some with a risk with bigger potential growth in the future. Um, whereas these guys are more dividend based. And I think because of this event that's happened, this, this black swan once in a lifetime, we hope, uh, event that's happened at the mo uh, moment, that uh, a lot of people's uh, portfolios have had the dividends stripped out of a lot of the stocks, especially the banking sector. Um, and I've been going on for a while about why I don't like banking stocks, and now they really don't look attractive. Um, and... Uh, Yes, so I think that's accounted for uh, the drop in their portfolio. So they've not only lost the dividends, the, the share price has dropped uh, incredibly down. Uh, and uh, that's really affected a lot of people's portfolios. So, um, uh, so yeah, this video is like a, we're going to do a really quick overlook um, of the Infinite Investor. Uh, I watched episode uh, 58 in full. Um, I think 59 might be out. I don't even know when he releases his updates. Maybe 60s out. I don't know. I jotted these notes last week um, on my notepad with all the percentages he's up, down, and whatever. And so we're going to very quickly fly through them now. And then we're going to, uh, at the end, have a little bit of a view of maybe uh, what the portfolio is doing and uh, maybe some tips if you're, uh, I'll put it on the end of the video, but if you're sitting on a portfolio at the moment and you've got one, two, ten, whatever stocks, uh, that are down at the moment uh, then I'm going to give you a potential strategy that's different to holding different to uh, dollar cost averaging that might be worth considering uh, being the current climate um, considering to basically help improve your return because for me uh, I'm not investing for dividends although some of my stocks do pay dividends albeit smaller ones uh, I am I am in it for as simple as return on investment. I want the maximum return on investment I can get uh, with a risk level that I'm happy with uh, and I can sleep at night. So, um, so yeah, and if you haven't already, uh, look at last week's uh, video uh, portfolio. I think I'm up like 16, 1700 um, as of Friday. Uh, on my portfolio, so I'm at 4,000, 6,700, something like that obviously £3,000 put into the portfolio, so um, we're doing quite well. And uh, by and large, you know, most stocks are back up to prices they were at before, so um, it's it's horrible to see that a lot of people's portfolios are still down um, when, by and large, uh, the Nasdaq and stuff is, is high again. So let's go through the stocks, and then I'll give you this little strategy at the end that I think uh, will help a lot of you out. Uh, to maybe look at your portfolios different and start getting that return on investment up and getting people back into the green. So um, I'm going to fly through some of these. Um, we've got things like Lloyd's and Virgin. Uh, Lloyd's is down 25%, uh, Virgin down 30%. Uh, 
again just covering a little bit on banking stocks i'm not in favor of them i think uh the future for banking is going to change uh, i think a lot of these historical banks are uh going to either look completely different or be taken over by new ways um i don't know like even like paypal may be coming into uh, into it i think they do loans and credit cards and stuff now and, and and they do a really cool way of uh working that um you've got companies like starling bank and stuff like that uh, that are cropping up now and they're completely going at financial services in different ways uh, phone insurance and stuff so that you can do just paper today and stuff like that um we've got uh, his best investment would be shopify he's up 92 percent uh, but obviously it's it's swallowed up by the losses on on other stocks um so uh, shopify was obviously a good he got it at a good price um you've seen on this channel if you've watched a lot of my videos that i've actually done a drop shipping store on shopify uh extremely bad timing because i started that at the start of this year uh, and then you know you have to be hiding under a rock to know what's happened uh lately so i was using a uh, supplier that was in china um they've effectively like zeroed all the stock because they can't fulfill orders and just everything that was going on and the uncertainty i just put the brakes massively on it so uh, by all means check out that video on the channel but uh we'll be doing something like that again in the future when things get back up and running um so then he's got like barrett's taylor winfrey um legal and general which are insurance but i understand they're also in the ha uh, housing game now as well um housing stocks again just perhaps i shouldn't be putting them all into one uh, category but i'm gonna uh, i do not like the, the house builders um the uk ones uh, i just don't have uh, a lot of confidence in them i think the financials are open to corruption um i come at that from my angle of a uh, thing I've done customer care work for a lot of house builders because I'm a tradesman um, and I think the quality is um, is low on on a lot of these um, they will let houses pass through as long as there's 30 snags or less so there'll be 30 things wrong with the house and they're happy to sell it and if the client doesn't uh, actually uh, pick up on them straight away then then awesome once they get past the two-year thing it's the customers problem and uh, I've seen a lot of dissatisfied uh, people and I personally wouldn't buy a new build because they're just not constructed like an old house uh, is so um, that and uh, other parts of my family work in different sectors of the construction industry um, and I just know how uh, these builders can be late paying uh, you know suppliers and stuff like that and I just think that's all to bend books and make a particular quarter look better than another or whatever. So, um, yeah, I just I just have a distrust for them. Um, and, uh, yeah, something like this, we don't know what that's going to affect on the housing market in the next year, two years, if we do slip into a recession. We don't know because the government's <laughs> slamming money into the economy. Uh, so... Are we going to have an actual recession or are we just going to keep injecting money into it and just force uh, prosperity? So, um, yeah, so anyway, that's the house builders. Um, we've got other things in there. Uh, Uber's an interesting one because obviously it's not a dividend stock and it's not a profitable company at the minute. Uh, so for him, that is a gambling stock effectively. Uh, as you guys know, it's um, in my portfolio and what my outlook is on Uber. Um He's negative 9% on his position at the minute, but that's here nor there for the current position that Uber's in. Um, I personally like it, but uh, as I say, it's, a, it's an interesting outlook because I think uh, watching earlier videos of his, he was more focused on dividend investing. So um, that one jumps out at me as not quite suiting his um, his thing unless he's changing his, his outlook on investing. Uh, Microsoft, Apple... Again, in my portfolio, uh, we all like them. Good, solid companies. They're going to be about for a while. Um, so there's only a couple other things I want to mention on the portfolio. I know there's Aviva, First Solar, AMD. AMD I like. I've been watching them, but not jumped in yet. Uh, 
Uta, which he's at 32% on, which is like online security, but don't know a lot about those. Um, so yeah, coming down to it, there's um, uh, S&P, uh, which I've seen a lot of people look at like index funds and indexes and stuff like that. But it's interesting that people have jumped in at the prices they have, because as I say, uh, looking at a lot of people's portfolios, uh, and I see someone, I think, sell off their entire portfolio uh, and put, put it into the indexes, but at almost an all-time high, which, um, you know, you do well over five, ten years or whatever, but I don't know whether that's people getting fed up of picking individual stocks, thinking they're down and just sod it, or just average across over the next few years or whatever. Um, but, yeah, people have bought on some, some pretty big prices, and each, each person's portfolio I've looked at that's got a minute is negative. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd be interested, in, I'm doing all this waffling, I'd be interested if you guys would put like in the comments or whatever your view on some of the things that I've said so far in this video because um, I'm always in the comments uh, chatting in there. Um, by all means, if you have a different opinion to me, awesome. Like, let's put it out. But uh, yeah, so uh, just a general overfinish of, of his portfolio. And I say I'm not slating him because uh, I like his videos. I think there's lots of detail. Um, it's just an easy person to pick because he's got the most followers at the moment, so he's got the most eyes on his portfolio. Uh, he's out there giving advice, and uh, you know, this is where we're at with results at the minute. So um, his portfolio, I think, and I could be wrong, but I think in earlier videos, if we looked at his portfolio, I think it was a bigger um, portfolio than this. It's currently sitting at 18 stocks at the minute, and uh, as I've said in videos, quite a while back, uh, around when I was first uploading, that I thought it was madness people having as many stocks as they do in portfolios. Some people have 30, 40, even upwards of that stocks in their portfolio. Um, you're not sitting on the money that you've got, that Warren Buffett's got. Um, there's, And I understand people feel the need to diversify and stuff like that if you're not confident in what you've got, but um, there has to be a ceiling to that. And uh, as I say, uh, this portfolio here has got 18 stocks in. One of the last ones on there was Imperial Brands, which um, is cigarettes. Um, I've just written a note there uh, when I jotted it down that I forgot to mention. Um, cigarettes, I don't see uh, as a stock that I see an uptrend in the future. I think health is becoming uh, more important to people and more of an interest to people. And I actually see cigarettes uh, going down over the future. So um, again, that's not a recommendation uh, of a stock that I would look at. I know they do really good dividends. And so if you're investing in it, you're probably doing it for the dividend. But um, by and large, I think I see the stock uh, value going down as years go on. I could be wrong, but that's just again my outlook uh, of how I think the sort of behaviors out there in the consumer are going at the minute. Um, but yeah, back on to the 18 stocks. So I think if you're new to investing uh, and you're certainly playing around with the money that us guys on YouTube uh, on the free trade videos uh, are playing with at the minute, 10 stocks like that, that I would like to see as people's ceiling um, because you can't be confident in lots and lots of stocks. Um, and we're focusing on return on investment. So, um, again, you want to be able to put a £1,000 in any one of your stocks that you've picked, and you want it to turn into 11, 12, 13, 1400, 2000 if you're lucky, um, pounds. So, um, focus, focus, focus on that return on investment. If you have one or two bad stocks in your portfolio um, that really tank it down, um, and I say this is a black swan event uh, that's happened here, but if you've got stocks in your portfolio that have really pulled it down, um, then they're just going to wipe out the gains of the good stocks. So, uh, and that is a little bit of what I think we can see in this portfolio. So, um, so my tip: if you're down at the moment in a portfolio, um, don't sell everything necessarily um, and panic. But have a, a look through your portfolio again review what you think about your company's uh, future because that might have changed with what's going on. Um, certainly the airlines, uh, as, we, as we heard Warren Buffett, you know, sort of 
not having a positive outlook for the next few years to come for them, um, have a look through your portfolio, see which companies you are no longer perhaps confident in, and think about it in this way. If you bought into a stock um, like an airline or something at a thousand pounds and it's now come down to 600 pounds how i've done this in the past where i lost a little bit on uh, cine world obviously a lot smaller than what we're talking about but um i lost a little bit my and i lost because i sold and uh, the reason why i've done that is if it drops down to 600 i need to relook at the company and why i'm in that company and do i dollar cost average down in a com- company that i have perhaps lost confidence in which was a no or uh, do I hold and just wait for that to go green again and then sell? Therefore, I haven't lost any money. Uh, but potentially you have. Because if you, were to, uh, if you were now no longer confident in that company's future, one, the stock could even fall further. Or it could slowly increase, but over a, a longer period of time. So for me, if you've now gone from 1,000 to 600 in a particular stock, I would consider, uh, and only consider this, uh, and these, this is only my view, so you should uh, do what suits you, but uh, I would perhaps uh, sell uh, at 600 and put it into a stock that I was more confident in. And again, this is not advice, do what your, uh, your own view is. But like right now, if I had that, I would probably take that 600 stick it in Tesla if it dropped into the $700 region uh, on a particular day. Uh, and I I think uh, that stock will go to 1,000 soon uh, once we have the battery day uh, and maybe the next quarter's earnings or something like that. If they turn out to be okay, uh, meet sort of rough targets or whatever, then um, uh, I can see Tesla stock going to 1,000. So you want to maybe jump out of the stock that you were in and look for something where you're going to get that return on investment and even if you're aiming to get it back to a thousand where can you get it back to a thousand quicker can you get it by leaving it in the stock and holding or can you uh, put it into a new stock that you're more confident in or maybe one you've already got but just increasing your position uh, and and basically get a uh, uh, a good return um, on it so uh, uh, yeah there's a different angle. I have covered that before, um, but it's something, especially at the moment, people should be considering um, reviewing the portfolio, um, trying to find good and bad points on every stock in your portfolio, whether it's up, down, or indifferent, and uh, and yeah, go from there. So um, really appreciate uh, all the new subscribers that have come along recently, uh, and as I said before, this is no means like a, a dig, but We're all putting our portfolios up there on YouTube to be critiqued and reviewed and looking for advice. And uh, I'm going to be doing this probably on a few portfolios. Um, But yeah, this is the first. So uh, if you find anything in my videos helpful, um, it would mean a lot if you hit the subscribe button or like or comment. That would be awesome. Uh, And uh, people already have had quite a few now reach out. Uh, and ask me advice you can find me on instagram uh, aaron cornick uh, and uh, you can comment below and i'll answer your questions as well so um yeah if you've got any videos you want to see in the future let me know see you on the next one